What's going on guys, JP back at you once again, bring you guys day number 8 in my uh, 11th annual 31 Days of Horror series in which we watch and review 31 horror films in 31 days all during the month of October, leading right up to Halloween. And continuing along with today's review, uh, so a couple days ago I did the killer ant movie, Ants from 1976 what was it 77 78 um and today i'm actually going to review another killer animal film this one also from kino lober actually just got a package in the mail yesterday with some kino titles um so i decided to revisit tarantulas the deadly cargo which is a 1977 tv film um which is really cool uh, you guys know how I feel about my killer animal films, my eco horror, my TV films, love all that stuff. Uh, this is one I definitely remember seeing as a kid, uh, but it has been quite a while since I've seen it, much like Ants. Um, suddenly remembered like a little bit about it. But essentially, uh, this film begins in Ecuador, uh, or sorry, Ecuador. <laughs> I don't know why I said Ecuador. Um, Ecuador and. Uh, there's basically these coffee beans that are being transported to the United States uh, and there's some um, basically they pay uh, the pilots to to take transport these um, I guess immigrants as well illegal immigrants uh, and when they bring the coffee beans back there is these spiders in the bags and they basically come out in the plane and attack the people and then eventually the plane has to do an emergency landing in this small town uh, i believe in california and the pilot ends up getting bit and the plane crashes and then the all the townspeople rush to the plane crash and most of the spiders have already escaped uh people start getting bit and dropping dead or incapacitated Nobody really knows what's going on. Eventually, one of the doctors in the town and a couple other people figure out that it's spiders that's causing these reactions. Uh, but they end up getting one, and even though the film's called Tarantulas, they say that uh, the spiders are actually not tarantulas. They are like some sort of, I think, banana spider or something like that. But, I mean, they look... They, in the movie like physically in front of the screen they are tarantulas but <laughs> um they just sort of say that they're actually a different kind of spider which is a little weird because it's like the movie's called tarantulas like not banana spiders <laughs> but i guess that was their instead of doing like oh these genetically modified uh mutated um toxic sp you know sp spiders that got you know influenced by some kind of nuclear radiation or something that old storyline i guess they probably di didn't want to maybe they didn't think of that yet or they didn't want want to do that one but that's typically what you get like even the ants film there was i think something to do with like um to uh, toxic waste that made the ants you know more aggressive or whatever and mutate uh i guess they didn't want to do that so they just said it's not tarantulas because tarantulas aren't venomous um so that's sort of like why tarantulas aren't really the best at like killing people in horror movies alone you need to like add something to it that would give them deadly toxins or something but uh <laughs> i guess just making it a different spider altogether but then calling it tarantulas is kind of silly but that's beside the point um the movie so um tom atkins is in this film which is really awesome i completely didn't realize that um and then also, there's Claude Atkins, Deborah Winters, Pat Hingle, um, Howard Hessman, Stuart Hagman. I don't know some of these people, but their names sound familiar. Uh, so, also in the film is the the so the it it's very like Jaws like you know where the mayor doesn't want to close the beaches because it'll ruin the town so the the <laughs> how they like basically do the same thing in this film is the town is literally known for their oranges like their whole like livelihood relies on this the orange production and 
the basically <laughs> the, the the spiders are attracted to insects which will be attracted to the fruit so they believe all the spiders are going to head towards the orange factory which is kind of silly when you think about it and the mayor doesn't want to shut down the orange <laughs> factory because it's the town's livelihood and stuff and it's just like classic how how there's always like some sort of resistance to the eco horror um but yeah i mean the thing i love about this movie is like there's so many scenes where people don't know that there's a spider around but you the audience does and like it'll crawl closer to someone like you know their their foot's just like on the ground and the spider's there and you know you're, you're thinking that it's going to bite the person and it's like, you know, you're waiting for that moment. And, uh, yeah, I always like that about the movie. Um, especially like these killer animal films where they don't really have a lot of gore, especially the TV ones. So they kind of have to rely on like suspense and stuff. But yeah, I mean, I really enjoy spiders. I think it's kind of silly how like they get rid of the spiders, but, um, you know, it, it's, it's seventies TV stuff. Uh, but yeah, uh, I give it a 7 out of 10. I think it's pretty good. Uh, definitely worth um, checking out if you've never seen it. Uh, glad to see Kino releasing these like TV movies. It's really cool. Um, so yeah, there's one more that I got from them. Maybe I'll do a review on that one before the month's over. But anyway, take care guys. See you guys in the next one. Peace.